Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 39 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn, and for the first time in a long time, we're actually not starting in Quilty Square. Can you believe it? It's great, we're actually starting in a place where we can make some plot prog progression. Alright, so we did Tube Town, I remember that. And now, Mysterious UFO. Oh man, I don't have the voice for that, I don't have the vocal cords to do that thing. Do, 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 do. Mm. So mysterious UFO, this is gonna be exciting. I see like gamma radiation or something outside. Or is that like comets whizzing by in the window? Whoa! Holy god! Oh my god! No, you did not just do this. Oh my god, this is awesome! Hell yes! Freaking moon gravity. This is beautiful. Oh my god, more games need these. Oh my god, if I parachute, I can just like infinitely float. This is this is awesome. I can see how this might become a nuisance later on, but for now, this is just nice change of pace. <laughs> I go so slow. Oh, I can't. Oh my god, you can't kill those guys. They took everything into account here. You can't kill them by stomping them anymore. This is great. I love it so much. Alright, uh, can I, like, grab that? Because I can't stomp through these anymore. <laughs> Not with my moon gravity. Whoa! <laughs> this, is fin this is phenomenal. I love this concept. And we got our first treasure here, too. That's great. Look how high I am in the air of the communicator. You can talk to aliens on this. Just be sure that you can afford the roaming charges. <laughs> of course. Alright, so I'm going to take this with me. This is... Oh my god. It's been a long time since I've actually seen anything with, like, this moon gravity effect. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna have, to, gonna have to pass up that star for now, unless I can turn off gravity at some point here. Or turn off the moon gravity, I mean. Mm, oh, I can. Look at this. I think, anyways. Mm, yeah, alright, back to normal gravity for a little bit, anyways. This is cool. This is so awesome. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's all I've been saying for this whole video, I know. It's just, oh my god, this is so awesome, but it's a cool concept, what can I say? First time I've seen it in this game. Alright, uh, how am I going to do this? Ooh, we got a platform here. And it's buzzing. Did I miss something over there? I feel like I did. I'm going to go check if I can get up here some way, somehow. Oh, it doesn't look like it. There's really no way to get up there, from what I can tell. Man, that electricity on the bottom is just scaring me. It's like, don't you dare fall, man. At least it's not like in Battletoads where it kills you in one hit. They, then again, in that game, everything kills you in one hit, so... Man, this section of music here reminds me of Kirby's uh, Air Ride or something. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Okay. I kind of expected to fall. I, like, half expected and I half didn't. And yes, yes, more, gra <laughs> more gravitation... Inflation, it's great. Gravitation inflation. I'm gonna coin that term. Ooh, I can grab that guy. Oh my god, get up here! Sweet! That is awesome. Cause now that, like, the. Cause, like, normally you just get, a, like, a little tiny hop after grabbing something, but now after you grab something, it's, like, multiplied sixfold, and it's, it's great. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Alright, can I jump that high? Oh, uh, not quite. But I can do that! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, look at this. I'm just going crazy. It's Kirby in space, literally, with this gravity. Oh my goodness. Mm. I guess this is... Maybe this is what the guy meant when he said this is going to take a long time to do UFO, Mysterious UFO, because it's going to take so long with this slow-ass gravity. Or because I'm just going to be going so crazy over it that I'm not even going to be thinking about completing the level and be like, oh shoot, I'm recording. Oh, this could be interesting. Oh, where's this going to go? Oh, uh, let's follow it. See where it takes us. Oh, shoot. Alright, here we go. It's going to take us up here. Wait, where'd it go? Where'd that exc exclamation point go? Whoa! No, not my stars! Um. Okay, there it is. Sweet! And that gets us space food. Ew. These are replicas of real astronaut food. Space chefs must be really dry people. 
Did I miss the punchline there? Alright, and back to normal. Sweet. Mm, moon gravity's fun while it lasts, but you just gotta go back eventually. Can't just stay in perpetual greatness here. Am I wrong in assuming that moon gravity is like six, uh, like six times less that of normal gravity? Of Earth gravity, I mean. Because there really is no normal gravity. I don't know. Oh, I, I remember hearing that somewhere. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably am. Whoa. This is just so awe. This is just... I can't believe this, man. I'm still just amazed at this. Just when you think they're out of ideas. Here you go. All right, man, those Gordos, they're crazy. They're in orbit. <laughs> They've got their own orbitational patterns. Mm, sweet. All right, want to grab these stars? Get the good video plasmid, son. Is there anything up there? It looks... Oh, it, there, there totally is. I know how, exactly how I'm supposed to do that, too. Just by seeing those guys on the wall. All right, so you got to do this. And... Oh, grab him. Oh, shoot. Well, at least he responds there. I saw that. So, all right, and nope, all right, not shoot. All right, this is harder than it looks. Um, man, six and a half minutes, not so bad. Of course, I don't know how much there is in this level, so the night is young. There we go. That's the ticket, and this is where the last treasure is, too. Our music disc, sweet music that plays in the space land. Love it. I, John, love it. Dude, whoa. You just dropped all your beads. I'm gonna have to go, go back through this level again, aren't I? To get gold. Don't miss these three stars. Dude, the, the moon, the moon gravity is now screwing me. Yeah, this is. All right, I'll have to go back through this level to get gold. You did see that there were plenty of beads. I had gold for a brief moment there, though. So when I do ba go back through it again, I'll I won't even show that. I'll just do that off screen. Hello. Mm, ooh, this looks fun. All right, so we gotta turn that, turn it, flip it upside down. Oh shoot, I screwed that up. Or did I? I can still get this uh, patch in here. Not that it's gonna really matter, but. All right, so just put it down for now. It's just sticking to the wall, nice. Here we go. Man, <laughs> you do take a while to land with this gravity. Not, not that that should be surprising to me me a man of physics and chemistry that I, I, sh I should realize that that's what gravity does. I'm just staying in the air for so long by grabbing that thing continuously. It's great. That's a that's a sad sound effect when uh when the gravity gets like a uh, return to normal because like whoa it's like no you don't want to do that man. Why are you doing that you fool? All right. So this looks like it could be the end. Yep, here we go. So definitely not enough for gold. Not even if I get this. Am I gonna get this? Maybe? No. Crap. Oh, silver. I'll take it for now, I suppose. Ooh, that's a neat looking patch. It kind of looks like a metal, honestly. Mm, not like a metal as in with the T, with the D in the middle. Oh, yay. Twinkling star patch. Sweet. Ooh, brand new Buster stage. Sweetness. I'll probably have time to do that in this episode, because I'm probably not going to have time to do the next uh, thing, this next level. That, that was awesome. Stellar way. Ooh, I like the sounds of that. That, that sounds like Star Road or something. And that reminds me of Super Mario World, and that makes me a happy camper. Alright, so yeah, let's go back to uh, Quilty Square here, and we'll see if we can't take this uh, Buster stage down in the remaining, what do we have, three, three and a half minutes or so? Mm, hopefully we can do it, I don't know, these Buster stages, man. They range from, from like, pathetically easy to wildly difficult. Well, I don't know, but wildly difficult, but this one's, yeah, this is just three stars. Does that say four enemies? Man, that's not much. Must be some pretty tough enemies. Is it going to be like three Staldras? 
15 seconds too, okay, uh, that, that's something. And we gotta utilize the moon gravity, I assume. Oh my god, look at this. What the hell is going on? Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. What, what? Oh my god, this is crazy. What? I've actually, ha that's gonna be hell. <laughs> like, holy crap. Alright, so I, I see what I've gotta do once I actually get there, though. I've got to um, get the guy, get the UFO, just throw him, and the thing should home in on the other three. Because I do remember that the UFO shots home in when you throw them. It's just a matter of getting there in time. Like, holy crap. You gotta be quick about this. It's like a mirror combined with a buster here. Oh, shoot. D I killed the UFO, though. Now, now there's no hope for me. Oh, God. Oh, maybe. No, shit. If that stupid thing, that, man, I just missed them. Oh, well. Oh, my God. That's how you do it. Okay. Nope. Get, grab him. Grab him. Dude. Don't. You're just screwing this to high hell. Oh, my God. You dumbass. You dumbass. <laughs> oh, no. This is so much fun. All right. I got to get this really quick, though. Because I've only got, like, a... Uh, I'll probably have to speed some of this up or cut out one of these attempts or something. Just to make the time work for me. And soon your buddy Pedro will be voting for me. Alright, here we go. Oh, this is this is a really cool concept, I like it though. Okay, grab this guy. And get down here and throw. Is, is that gonna work? Yes. Sweet! I love that. I love it when these mini games get all gimmicky on me. All right, so I think that's gonna have to be it for this episode. After we get the fabric, we'll see what it is. In the meantime, I'm gonna quench my thirst, my my dry lips, my dry lip syndrome with uh, a good gulp of coke. Oh, that's good. UFO sighting fabric. Cool. Da -cla. All right, so next time, I uh, guess we'll be moving on with Stellar Way. I think that's what it was called, the next level in Piss... In, I, just, I was about to say Piss Land, which is nowhere close to Space Land. Space Land, all right. Or Galaxy Land. Or Galaxy Man, or Splash Woman. What are you... What, stop talking. Thank you, everyone, for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.